decided to go through the night, which is kind of crazy. We were pulling over and just like switching basically every hour. Davis is driving right now, but we just decided, like we just didn't want to risk it. We didn't want to stop and like not have a walk with our van. And so we just decided to go. It was a little bit tricky though, because neither of us, we don't drink caffeine or soda or anything. And we also don't drink coffee. Um, we haven't drinking soda for a couple of years. Me since high school, I think Davis since college, just because we didn't like the way it made us feel. It was kind of like too much sugar. Um, so we gave that up a long time ago. And coffee, we've never drunk. Both of us, I guess neither of us like wanted to feel like we had to rely on it and have to wake up and like have to have our coffee. So we've been doing it with no caffeine, just going straight through. We are definitely going slower than we normally would because we've got the big van and we're also towing the car on the back of it and so we are not making great time. I think this 24 hour drive is probably going to take like 28 or something like that just because we're going like under the speed limit. morning you guys we are just getting packed up as you can see we've got suitcases everywhere we're just trying to get it all sorted through and we realized that we haven't let you know yet where we're going so we can either let you know when we get to the port or we can keep it a surprise and show you when we land let us know what you think take a vote here and by the time we get to the airport depending on what the answers are we'll decide then as we are waiting for you guys to put in your vote of whether or not you guys want to know beforehand, I'm going to take you through and just like show you a couple of tips in how we pack. So we always will do two suitcases. So this is my main suitcase. So as you can see, I like to have it all like nice and tightly packed so that it stays together. So we've got like all of the packing cubes. We've got our yoga mats, which might go in here or might go into Davis's. And then suitcases also zip open. And we've just got like more packing cubes. And so in each of these cubes, I try to designate it. Like this one's swimsuits. This one has a couple of warmer things of where we're going. I've got some shoes there. And then like this one is dresses. Um, and then I've also got like a few others, like this is shirts and whatnot. Okay, so this is the second bag. This one's a little bit smaller and it's what I'll take as a carry-on for the plane. I'm putting my hats in here and I wanted to show you how I pack them because I stack them all up together. And that then I put like packing cubes or things around the sides and that way they stay looking super nice. Like the brims can't get folded at all. And then I'll also stuff it full of like socks or scarves or something like that just to like give it even more structure. And that way I don't have to wear all the hats on the plane, but they can look stay looking super nice. And so yeah, this one is the one I'll be taking on the plane. It's a soft top, which I'm actually super excited for. This is the first time Davis and I, which we like because it'll just be like really perfect for adventures. They've got these like backpack straps. And so it'll be great for on the go or as we're like transferring between a lot of the places that we will be going this month. Okay, so you guys said you couldn't wait, so I'll tell you now. We are on a flight right now. We're boarding it because we will be spending the next month in... Turkey. Turkey. So we'll tell you more about when we land, but we're flying for Istanbul. We'll be heading down the coast, and then we're going to do some surprises along the way. Good morning, you guys. So we woke up, and we are in Istanbul, which we are so happy about. But last night was actually a pretty crazy day of travel. We got in at like midnight or like 1 a.m. and a rental car was open 24 hours but they were closed and so we were just like on the phone it was kind of like a crazy couple hours trying to figure it out and we ended up just having to get a taxi and we were going back over there this morning so it was like a little bit of a delay but not too bad so we're gonna go do that and then when we get on the road I know I promised you we'd tell you more but I don't think we have time this morning so we'll tell you when we get on the road a little bit more about what we'll be doing. 